time for a good old fashioned unboxing. So let's see what we get in the box. Some little instruction manuals. Safety information. interesting. I was wondering, because on the packaging it said it was a down firing subwoofer, but it obviously had a grill on the front side. Well, the subwoofer is underneath. This is actually a passive radiator in the front. I thought this would have a base reflex port for sure, but that's kind of nifty. Nifty design feature. Here's the back side of the speaker. Subwoofer, I should say. Here's going to be our main speakers. All right, here it is out of the box. And we get to do one of my favorite things personally, which is peel this protective film off. Here you got a little bit on the surface of the buttons, the volume control and tone control. So that's it. That's the unboxing of the Logitech Z523 system. It looks to be a pretty nice setup. In my next clip we're going to go ahead and do some listening tests and see how it sounds. I'll conduct this side-by-side -side listening test using this RCA switch box. This should not be taken as a scientific test. As always there's many variables that are not controlled. This is just purely for fun. It's been several weeks since I recorded the previous unboxing clip and I've got some impressions of this sound system so far, the Z523. I must say I've had a mostly positive experience. One of the biggest differences in the Z313 and the Z523 systems I've found so far has been in the sound quality area. The Z313 does provide acceptable performance. They're both computer speaker systems and they're not going to perform like an audio file setup or a pro audio system. They both will provide acceptable performance. However, the Z523, I think, has a good sound quality. A little bit bass heavy, especially with a bass boost. 
apply, but I think for their target demographic, that is what they intended, and I think the people who purchase this system will be happy. The control of the 313 system is all done with this little remote. I don't think this is an optimal design, personally. While it is a little bit unique, this is just more clutter on the desk, something to get knocked off or lost. The only advantage it provides is you can have a little bit more remote mounting of the main speakers, but I don't think that's a huge necessity with a computer speaker system anyways, because it's all going to be on a desk. Control of the Z523 system is all done on the front of the left speaker. The volume and power are built into this single potentiometer control. The headphone jack and secondary line level input jack can be found on the side of the right speaker and the bass boost. I previously spoke of it as a tone control, but it's in fact just a bass boost. I find that anything over a third is pretty bass heavy. The main speakers have identical drivers on the front and rear, and the bass reflex ports are on the rear of the speaker. This is what Logitech claims is 360 degree sound, and I do find that this sound system has pretty even dispersion throughout the room. It doesn't dig down super deep, the subwoofer driver is a bit smaller, but overall, this is an excellent system for the kind of money they're asking. I think your average consumer will be very happy with this. The Z523's construction and fit and finish is a good bit better than the Z313. You can feel that the weight is much more solid with the 523, and it just feels like a higher quality system all around. Here's the two subwoofers side by side. The Z523, as you can plainly see, has a little bit larger driver, which is going to help with a low frequency extension. The materials of construction are similar between the two drivers, paper cones, foam surrounds, built more for efficiency than longevity, but I prefer the sound of paper cone speakers personally. The dust cap is inverted on the Z523, but that's more of a cosmetic difference than anything. The control panel on the back of the subwoofer unit, it has this D-sub style connector which is a really nice connector that gangs this to the speaker with a volume and the bass control on it and the right speaker is just connected with a traditional RCA phono jack. The one negative thing I have to say about the Z523 is when I picked the subwoofer unit up itself and shook it, it had a bit of a rattle to it. I was worried that that would be audible during usage, but the bass sounds crisp, it sounds clean. One other thing I'm not a huge fan of is this piano black glossy finish on the front. It does look nice, but it's a magnet for fingerprints and dust. Here's a peek inside the enclosure itself. This is the amplifier board, the separate power supply, and the back side of the passive radiator. I did find the source of the rattle inside the enclosure. This little screw that holds the power supply to the side of the box has come undone. So I'm going to see if I can put that back together. The repair was made successfully. I just used an oversized screw and a nut as a washer and retightened the power supply down to the side of the enclosure. And here's the business end of the subwoofer. Thanks for watching the video. If you have a comment, feel free to leave it down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you like what you see. There will be plenty more audio related videos in the future.